Hello? All right. All right, I'll try to talk at least as fast as, uh, as Peter here. So I wanted to tell you about what I've, what I've been working on in Pandas and some things that I, I think are exciting. Um, I don't know if many of you have heard of this library, but um, basically we've got labeled arrays that handle heterogeneous data that are also size mutable, so kind of like an R data frame if you've ever used R. Um, but basically I think there's a pre, uh, kind of a um, misconception that, that Pandas is only for time series data. It's completely not true. Um, it happens to be very good for, for that, but, uh, but also a lot of other things. Um, key features are automatic data alignment with lots of indexing and reshaping. Um, it does missing data really well, both implicitly and explicitly. Uh, it's got great time series stuff. Um, I've used Scikit's time series, but I find it hard to use. And I work a lot with multiple time series, which isn't really very well supported in Scikit's time series. So if you've got time series data, find yourself struggling, uh, take a look. Um, and there's a lot of stuff for doing SQL-like uh, uh, operations, merging, joining, um, that, that kind of thing. Um, of course, it, it's, you know, I, I used to work for a hedge fund. I built it in, inside a hedge fund. It's extremely good for financial data. Uh, people on the internet have very good things to say about it. I won't, won't really go there. Um, I, I would like to make it one of the best, if not the best, uh, tools in any language for, for working with relational data, uh, labeled data. So if you use it and you find that it's not, send me an email. Either you can hack on it or, or let me know how it could be improved. Um, because this is really my main goal, is making it the best, one of the best tools that's, that's available anywhere. Um, and of course, um, trying to build, uh, build a platform um, that, that could be used to, to essentially replace R, building the fundamental building blocks for, for statistics, for data manipulation, um, stuff that people in other scientific computing environments wish they had in Python and haven't had uh, for a long time. Um, so some of the new things, uh, oh wow, that's amazing. It's only two and a half minutes left. Um, I've heavily reworked the internals. There used to be two classes with different uh, internal implementations for tabular data. I fixed that, there's now just one. Um, I, th I think it brings the best of both worlds. Um, there's a, a cool internal data structure. Um, it's kind of a prototype, but I'd, li I'd like to do more with it. Getting more eyes on it would be, would be fantastic. Um, handling of um, missing data and non-floating point D types is, is better. Um, and I'm, I've, I'm working currently on essentially laying the groundwork for an n-dimensional structure. Usually in, in the past, Pandas only handled uh, three dimensions and less, which is all, really all you need for finance and econometrics. But you know, people keep asking for you know greater than three, so I'm gonna I'm giving in. Here's another thing that I gave into recently: adding fancier indexing, uh, something I, you know, I I stonewalled on for for years. It feels like, and I finally added. So you know, integers, you know, labels. You can slice with labels. Uh, this is sort of inspired by Larry and data array and all that. Um, so having that all all there, you can also set, uh, which is cool. Um, so you do really fancy getting and setting on on pandas pandas objects. Um, I worked a lot on robustifying the I.O. So you can read CSV files really easily, read, read tabular structures very easily. I really retooled the, the um, HDF5 pie tables based storage, which was kind of a prototype. Somebody emailed me and said, um, how do you store pandas objects in HDF5? And so I, I hacked out something in an afternoon, but it was just a prototype. So I went through and actually built something real. Um, pivoting and reshaping data has gotten a lot better. So if you ever have data that look, looks like this stored in a SQL table, it's indexed based on a couple a uh, couple of columns, uh, and you want to reshape that into something a little more useful, um, you can pivot it with the pivot function and just specify here the bar and the foo column. Um, and so you get reshaped data, um, which you can then do computations on. Um, but you can also, you know, forget about the syntax, this is the panel data structure, but you can also slice along the other axes. So if you wanted everything labeled one in the bar, in the foo column, then you can get, you get all that data labeled like that. Um, had an extra slide there. Uh, some other things that are exciting, sparse data structures, mostly NA, not mostly zero, time zone support, generic moving windows functions. Um, I'm working a lot on enhancing group by and frequency conversions, um, and, and we're gonna hack on it in stats models, um, getting more integration there. So thanks, thanks a lot, and uh, yeah, let me know if you, if you find it useful.